हे गाइस व्हाट्स अप वेलकम टू माय न्यू वीडियो टुडे लेट अस सी हाउ टू राइट अ रिसर्च मैनुस्क्रिप्ट इन दिस वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू शेयर यू सम ऑफ द टिप्स व्हिच यू कैन इंप्लीमेंट टू ड्राफ्ट योर रिसर्च आर्टिकल एंड दिस वीडियो इज स्पेशली मेड फॉर द बिगनर्स these tips you can implement to draft your research article which can be communicated to some of the high ranked and reputed international journals before moving on to my topic today i would like to request you all to share like and subscribe to my channel phdn so that i can come up with more such videos No matter which scientific field you belong, drafting a research article is one of prime important aspect in scientific community. In most cases, researcher find difficulties in drafting articles. Hence, these research article are very important in your scientific career. These are as important as your experiments. No matter how much time you devote how much hard you work one of the research rewards are mainly gauged by research article what you publish it definitely boosts or boost your scientific career it makes you more confident to present your work in front of scientific community so these research article also reflects the kind of work you have carried out in your scientific degree or graduation degree one of the important step in drafting a good research article is to generate good data which can be done by collaborating with different expertise who are already are good into drafting research article or generating data in this section i would like to share some of the tips here you can see a outline of a research article which comprises of research title author's name and affiliation followed by the components of a research article such as abstract introduction materials and method results and discussion and at the end conclusion and references if you are finding difficulties in drafting a, a perfect research title and abstract you can watch my previous videos which enables you to see what are some of the tips which you can implement to draft your title and abstract moving on to the each component now here are some of the tips for writing in introduction i recommend you all to start your introduction with recent references by re by referring recent articles of 2019 2018 2017 and in introduction you need to provide at least 15 to 20 references from past 5 to 10 years which gives a reviewer and editor an update that you are updated in a particular area and also avoid lengthy and confusing sentences maintain the scientific flow your introduction should comprises of scope of your study the current scenario in this particular area and why the present investigation is so important also highlight the lacuna in the current area and what kind of contribution your study can provide in this area how to end an introduction now you have a complete structure or body of an introduction always end your introduction with the sentences like based on these facts and consideration or hence the present study is carried out to investigate the subject of interest moving on to the next component that is material same method it is very important part of your manuscript where you follow certain methodology or protocol to generate your scientific data hence i recommend you to follow the standard format or authors guidelines of a particular journal which you are trying to target in this section you need to be very clear and concise with the headings and subheadings what you provide 
for the protocol or a methodology what you follow and for each protocol you need to provide uh, references for example a b c d s a was carried out as per the protocol described by maria et al and you need to add this reference also provide if you are using a equation or formulation you need to provide the references from where you got this formulation or equation and you need to use the standard softwares to generate this formula also avoid introduction and discussion part or results in this section don't try to add two or more references for the same method or a protocol what you are following further let us move on to the next component results and discussion here you have your results now you need to start writing with your results in most cases the results and discussions are clubbed together in one form and in some journals they recommend you to describe your result separately and discussion as a separate part moving on to the results you need to highlight your results a significant outcome of your study this you will do by providing or illustrating using figures or tabulation and this figures and tabulation you describe in the form of sentences in your result component please don't forget to cite up the appropriate figures in your sentences so moving on to the discussion part in this discussion part don't add your introduction here you need to compare your data with previously reported articles where you provide your justification if your results are contrast to your to the previously reported study like why your results are contrast you just write for example in the present investigation xyz result has been obtained which is contrast to the previous finding of xyz at all due to the facts that and you justify your statement if your results are similar to what the previously reported article then you can easily say that this obtained result is in accordance with the scientific study conducted by xyz so here you need to be very careful while writing your discussion part so moving on to the last component conclusion here you need to provide a important or significant observation of your studies and what kind of solution it is providing to your particular research area it should be different from your abstract and it should briefly provide the outcomes of your study the conclusion is followed by acknowledgments where you thank the facilities or a place or people who helped you to carry out this particular study also you need to add the grant information if you have been funded by any funding agencies so moving on to the references based on the author's guidelines you need to follow it what kind of references you would like to include and here for short communication there are less references like 20 to 25 references and for long length research article you can provide an optimal of 30 to 35 references so with this information i would like to end my video and i would also add some of the links which will be benefited to drafting your research article thank you for watching i hope you will like share and subscribe to my channel